In this episode of Micromatic, I'm going to talk about the Olympus 25mm Prime Lens. Now I should have done this before, but today I'm going to talk about the Olympus 25mm lens. And the reason why I should have done it before is because when people ask me which lens they should get first for Micro Four Thirds, the Olympus 25mm is usually what I recommend. Now the reason I usually recommend the Olympus 25mm first uh, is because it's such a good general all-purpose lens. A lot of the times cameras come with zoom lenses, right, that cover a, a fairly useful zoom range. But I actually prefer prime lenses, uh, and maybe I'll talk about that specifically in another video. But the Olympus 25mm lens, as far as prime lenses go, is perhaps the most flexible. So in the spectrum of lenses, you have your wide-angle lenses, and you have your telephoto lenses. The Olympus 25mm falls square in the middle of that range. It's what's called a normal lens. Uh, and it's called a normal lens because, I, well, I don't know why it's called a normal lens, really. Uh, it's a very useful focal length, but it is neither wide angle nor is it telephoto. Uh, it's just kind of in between. And that sounds kind of boring, but as a guy who's very normal and in between, I take offense to that. I don't really take offense to that, don't worry about it, if that's what you thought. The 25 millimeter focal length on Micro Four Thirds cameras gives you that perfectly normal focal length, uh, that field of view. And what it's really good for is kind of everything. 25 millimeters is good for portraits. It can be good for group shots. It's great for landscapes. Uh, not very good for selfies, I'll be honest. Um, but and with this particular lens, the, uh, the Olympus 25mm lens, because it can focus so close to items, uh, it's actually even pretty good for near macro work. Now, it's not a real macro lens, of course, but it focuses super close, uh, closer than you might expect, and that makes it you know, just that much more flexible. Because the 25mm focal length is so flexible, the Olympus 25mm ends up being the lens that I always have on me. Uh, I almost always bring a camera with me when I go anywhere, and the Olympus 25mm is very often on that camera uh, because it's just so, so useful. It's very rare that I'm going to get into a scenario where I need to take a picture, I want to take a picture, and the Olympus 25mm is not going to be good for it. If one complaint can be made about the quality of the lens, it's that it doesn't have a whole lot of character of its own. Now, in a lot of ways, that's actually a good thing. Uh, but it's not like something, some of the lenses I've talked about before, like the Fuji in 35mm, where if you take a picture with the Fuji in 35mm, and it's a lot of the times it's really easy to look at that picture and recognize that, that was taken with the 35mm because it's such a unique character to it. The Olympus 25mm is a very neutral lens. If anything, its character I would describe as clarity. To give you a sense of the quality of lens, of course, I'm going to show you some photos that I've taken with it, but also take note, all of the videos that I've done on Micromatic, well, virtually all of them, have been taken with the 25mm. I'm in fact using it right now, which is why I'm not holding it in my hand and showing you. Uh, the 25mm, like I said, takes really crisp photos, really crisp image, uh, and because it's you know, a, not a wide-angle lens, you can still get that nice background blur uh, that I tend to like in my photos. I think a lot of people like it as well. So quick rundown of some other nice benefits of this lens. Uh, one, it opens up to f1.8, so that means it's pretty good in low light. Um, two, it is quiet. It is a very silent lens. If you're doing a lot of video work, uh, that silent, silent focusing is going to be very useful. Uh, and then three, related to that, is the focusing is super fast. Um, 
I actually previously had the Panasonic 20 millimeter lens and one of the reasons one of the reasons why I dropped that lens and ended up with the Olympus 25 mm is that I had issues with the way that the Panasonic 20 mm focused. The Olympus 25 mm has none of those issues. It is fast all the time uh, and always accurate. So that is the Olympus 25 mm lens and I hope I've done a good job of explaining why I think it is the best buy for your first Micro Four Thirds lens. It's not necessarily the ultimate Micro Four Thirds lens, uh, but it's also not the most expensive Micro Four Thirds lens. It's super flexible, it's good in low light, it's well priced, it can do virtually any kind of photography, and that is why I recommend the Olympus 25mm. If you hated this video, do not hit the like button down below, do not subscribe to this channel, and I will not see you on the next episode of Micromatic.